What's up everybody, welcome to the video. My name is Gage Edwards and we have officially reached the end of May. I am now one year older, much wiser, and somehow much more handsome. Okay, let's just ignore that. This week I have for you the top five stories for the month of May as seen on Waste360.com. And what a month it was. Tons of great content, that awesome show that was Waste Expo 2023, and the Orioles have the third best record in the MLB currently. But enough sidetracking from me, here are the top stories from May 2023 on Waste360.com. Number five, May fire report. Lithium ion battery fires are everywhere. This past May's fire report, Ryan Fogelman highlighted fire data as well as provided insight from his education session on fire safety at Waste Expo 2023. Number four, Waste Expo 2023 show highlights. Waste Expo 2023 was an awesome time, one that will definitely be remembered. More than 13,000 attendees and 500 exhibitors gathered in New Orleans for four days of learning, innovation, and networking. I had an awesome time, so be sure to check out this highlight video from Waste Expo. Don't forget to mark your calendars for next year's Waste Expo, which is happening May 6th through 9th in Las Vegas. Number three, top 10 cities for clothing recycling in the United States. America's obsession with fast fashion leaves in curbside waste bins between 70 and 81 pounds per citizen annually, according to the Council for Textile Recycling. Check out this gallery that showcases the top 10 cities for clothing recycling across the United States. Number two, did the city of Fort Smith, Arkansas mislead residents by diverting recyclables to landfill? Fort Smith is the third largest city in Arkansas. For years, the city's service provider did not charge the city to accept and process recyclables. In 2014, when its contract with the city expired, the company proposed a $35 per ton processing fee to continue the service. The city opted to not renew the contract, thus beginning a time when the city simply diverted recyclables to a landfill. Check out this full story on Waste360.com. And our top story of the month, workforce drug positivity remains at historic levels in 2022. Post-accident workplace drug positivity rates remained at 25-year high historic levels in 2022, as more states moved to legalize cannabis, according to diagnostic testing firm Quest Diagnostics. And those were the top stories for the month of May. You can, of course, read more about each article on Waste360.com. And if you're watching this on YouTube, the links are in the description below. As always, be tuned in to Waste360 for all the latest news in the waste industry. Be sure to catch up with us on all of our social channels. And just as importantly, have a great weekend. Thanks for watching.